Hello, ladies and gentlemen, sisters and brothers, once again, this is Eddie Marcus, spokesman and advocate of basic human rights for all people. Got a wonderful message for you at this moment. It's flowing through and caught on me, went through me, felt real good, something that I could benefit from, so thinking you can benefit from it as well. Coming to you live from station WEVM, that's wonderful, Eddie B. Marcus, I'm reading smack down from the top of the sky. I call it the spiritual realm, right to wherever you are. And I'm hoping that this message will saturate your being to the degree that you will love it as much as you love the blood that flows through your veins. And afterwards, perhaps you will like it, leave a comment, or subscribe not only to the channel, but to the message as well. The message that I want to bring to you, ladies and gentlemen, is that this is called focus. And the focus is to be on ourselves. Do you remember what it means to be who you really are? That was a long time ago, huh? You were just probably a kid. Ever since then, you've been somebody else. Right now, the nation, half of it at least, is upset with what Donald Trump is doing. America. It's never been this cold. This is what we say to ourselves. We may never have been perfect, but we had a little bit more compassion than the, the compassion that's being exhibited by this administration, making America look kind of sick, a little sad, and we're not satisfied with that, no doubt. But I'd like to ask each of you, ladies and gentlemen, just to stick a moment and focus. Focus where you might fit in on the scheme of things when you start talking about that which is proper, that which works for everybody, where there are no complaints. I'd like to say, which of you that are listening to my voice would appreciate having unlimited and unrestricted food and clothing and shelter. How many of you would agree that this would be something that would work well for you? How many of you would agree that you would love to have available to you unlimited and unrestricted educational benefits? And I mean unlimited and unrestricted and there would be no money that could prevent you in any phase of your educational process. Recognizing that education prepares you to be the best that you can be at whatever it is you've been given to be. And everybody who has a debt, an educational debt, is wiped clean. You owe nobody for your educational past. And same for those of you who got your mortgages and who are paying rent. The scale is wiped clean. You owe nobody for any of that. That's your domain. That's your place of shelter. And until the time comes for you to update, that's yours, baby. How many of you would love to have something like that? How many of you would love to have, say, some educate, no, excuse me, health benefits? Unlimited and unrestricted. The best education system that the people of the United States can come up with whether they can do it themselves and negotiate it through someone else. But unlimited, from the womb to the tomb. How many of you would just love to be in a system like that where you never have to worry about health care, dental care, or any kind of that kind of care that maintains your survival in a healthy kind of way? How many of you would love to be in a system like that? Now, if all of you would love to be in a system that offered you these kinds of benefits, you would probably think, how in the world can each of you, a billion of you, have access to all of these benefits that are so essential for your survival? There's only one way you can do that, and that's engage everybody that would benefit from it. That's a billion people. Engage them in the creative process. And the creative process produces all of the goods, all of the services that the 8 billion people have determined are essential for their necessary dreams being fulfilled. 
How about that? How about all of these things that the people have determined are essential, being met by the people engaging themselves? Now, when I say engage themselves, I'm talking about a career. Every last person who's benefiting from this have a career, a career of their own choosing, a career that they have determined is most fitted for them, that gives them the greatest pleasure. See, we were designed in such a way that that gift was instilled in each of us so we'll have purpose on this earth. We'll have purpose in this body. So when we engage ourselves, we are doing what we were created to do. And by doing that, we have our greatest pleasure. And it doesn't necessarily have to be playing sports. It could be an engineer. It can be a teacher. It can be a dish digger. But whatever you are given to do, this is what you love doing. And because you do it, and it's something that you love doing, and it's established and created in such an abundance that 8 billion people can take from it as they need, want, and desire from it. My, 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 how can you beat that? How can you beat that? And you don't have to lie, you don't have to cheat, you don't have to steal, you don't have to terrorize, you don't have to run Ponzi schemes, you don't have to have war and you have peace and prosperity and happiness how many of you would walk away from that well see this is the opposite of what Trump offers and you're talking against Trump saying you can't stand Trump and if you want to go anywhere better than Trump you got to walk down this path so I just wanted to throw that out there at you Give you a chance to look at it. Give you a chance to hear it. Give you a chance to see it. And give you a chance to think. Are you any better than Trump? If you can't walk this way, you just like Trump. No other way you can look at it. If you can't walk this way, and this is the way that works for all 8 billion people. <laughs> if you've got a problem with that, you've got a problem with the maker. And so I just wanted to leave that with you, ladies and gentlemen. Once again, this is Eddie Marcus, spokesman and advocate of all of your precious birthrights. That is not only that you have available to you everything for your survival, but everything else that you want and require for your dreams to be met. That creator that I tell you about that you can't see, you can't touch, you can't feel, but the evidence is all around. It's prepared this for you. But you have to recognize that all stuff that man didn't make with his own hands belongs to God. So all the oil and all the minerals in the earth and all the resources that's above the earth, on the earth, in the earth, that's seen is unseen, that man didn't have any hand in making. It belongs to the maker, and we call that God. All that stuff belongs to God. Yes, we have gone up and separated ourselves in those systems, and we've created laws that allowed us to legally, and when I say legally, it means just within our clique, to accept and respect certain rules that have allowed people to claim ownership to stuff, which have made them our with bosses, our masters, while we are there serfs, working for penny wages that allows us to get in trouble and to struggle all day long. Is that what we want to continue doing? Well, the choice has been put before you. Now the thing is, what you going to do? All right. Bye-bye.